The ruler tool inside of NinjaTrader 8 is one of the most misused and misunderstood tools that NinjaTrader 8 offers. So let me show you how to use this ruler tool effectively. So if you go up to the top toolbar, select the drawing tools icon with one left click and then left click ruler, you will now see your mouse cursor turn to a pencil. So when you're drawing, what you wanna do is let's find a spot we wanna start drawing from. So let's do it right here at this low price of this candle. And with one left click, we will see that now there is a circle at the very bottom of that candle. I'm going to find my exit destination somewhere up here. Let's do it at this high price. I will left click with one left click to anchor the overall ruler. And now a box will appear. If you move your mouse around, it's gonna be anchored to that second anchor point. So to anchor this window, I like to put it out of somewhere out of view from this chart. So I'll move it over to the left, maybe down to the bottom. And when I'm done, I just left click it once to anchor the ruler tool to the chart. So once this is anchored, the ruler window will have several bits of information. The first will be the symbol expiration date and time frame for the chart that you are on. You will want to compare that with that information up on those top two boxes on top of the chart. Below that will be the number of bars from the start to the finish of that ruler line. Next will be the amount of time. So two days or 11 hours worth of data from my start point to my end point. Now the last value you will see in this window is the Y value. And that is going to be a user defined value for how the information will be displayed for the measurement. Now by default, this is set to price. Now I've changed this and I'm gonna show you how to change this. What you will want to do is select that ruler tool. You could either click the line, you can click the box or click one of those anchor points. Right click once it's highlighted and select properties. Once you've selected properties, the drawing windows object will appear. And from there, you will look for Y value display unit. And from this drop down box, you will be able to select one of these options. The default is going to be typically set to price. And when you start up Ninja Trader 8, it will appear something similar to this. And basically that is going to be the price movement from your starting point to your end point. And as you see, I clicked apply and this changed to 400.50, meaning that there was a 400.50 movement on this chart. I could change it to percent and that shows a 2.33% move from the first part of the selection to the last part of the selection. We could change it to ticks, currency or pips. Now, when I use the ruler tool, I typically leave it set to ticks. And when I do that, I select apply, click OK. And now the ruler tool is set for ticks for this particular plot. If you're going to change the ruler tool and would like it to have the same Y value when you create new ruler measurements, what you can do is highlight that ruler tool right click and go to properties. And once you've selected properties and you have it set up to your desired configuration at the very bottom, select with one left click template. Once you do that, you will see save load and reset. I will want to save the configuration. So I'll click save. And once you have the save window up here, select save as default. You left click that, you'll get a message that says default already exists. Do you want to replace it? Select yes. Click OK. And then the next time you use that ruler tool for a new measurement, like this right here, it'll remain with the same configuration that you set for the one that you did prior. 